This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day. It is Sunday on May long weekend, which means especially in Winnipeg, things are just moving slower. This parking lot is usually packed seven days a week and there's like no one here. Look what we got on feet today. We got these Celtic Jordan 1s. They are beautiful. I put in black laces as you guys can see and they look like a million times better than they did with the green laces. I think that's why I hadn't picked them up previously because I had only seen them with the green laces in, but black laces, forget about it. How are you guys doing today though? Let me know down in the comment section below. By the time you're watching this, it is the Monday of May long weekend, so hopefully you guys are enjoying your holiday. Let me know what you're up to down in the comment section below. Lots of you guys are actually talking about how I already have the other Celtics Jordan ones. There are some of you were asking if I already had the other Celtics Jordan ones. The answer is yes, I do have them. Which one do you guys like better? Obviously you can see both of them right now. The one I have on feet right now is obviously more classic and subtle and it's just black, white and green and it's more original OG looking but then the newer Celtics one that came out in 2014 has that hardwood print on it and it has gold and it, it looks a lot more Celtics. Not really sure what we're up to today. Most of my friends are busy with family stuff or out at the cabin or working. I'm thinking maybe we go check out the mall because they got a pair of shoes that I would like to buy. We're not going to like spend 10 minutes at the mall. I'd just like to dip in there and if they have the shoes I'm definitely going to pick them up because that's a pair of shoes. Let me tell you. Celtics do play game three tonight. I'm not looking forward to that in the slightest. They are just, they're going to get whooped. They are, they're going to get spanked by the Cavaliers. I have literally no hope in them to win because Isaiah Thomas is apparently not playing because he hurt his hip and I wonder how hurt he actually is. Boston knows they're not going to win so why risk it? Like I feel like if it was a competitive series like he hurt, if he hurt himself against Washington he might still be playing through this injury but they're going to get killed against Cleveland. I'm really not looking forward to that. Extremely quick stop at the mall. We got the shoes. They had my size. I'm a happy guy. Well, I just spent like 225 bucks, so I'm not a super happy guy. I, whatever. I got a nice pair of shoes. We are, of course, going to take a look at them later today. Oh, it's still raining. Seriously, whoever invented rain, I need to talk to them about this. I am not a fan. Did I mention that I hate rain? With the way LeBron's been playing in these playoffs, there's like a whole bunch of people talking about LeBron versus Jordan. And I don't even want to get into that argument. Like, I don't really care. They're both amazing players. Who cares which one's better? That's like, who is the best YouTuber? And acting like it's the most important argument instead of just acknowledging that there are tons of very good YouTubers or whatever. But my problem is not who is better. My problem is the argument itself because what people always use is, oh, but Jordan has more rings. Jordan has more career points. Jordan has, Jordan has, LeBron doesn't have career accolades. Who cares about career accolades? They don't matter. Career accolades does not determine who the better player is. If I'm a college scout and I'm watching a high school game, I don't give a crap who won the national championship last year. I don't give a crap who was voted to the tournament all-star game. I'm watching the game to see who is the best player, who defends the best, who makes jump shots the best, who hits free throws the best, who has the best post game, who can rebound better, who is the better passer. Why do I care about how many titles a player has won, how many all-star games they've been voted to when determining who the best player is? Let's take a look at this pair of shoes though. Um, this is a pair of shoes I've wanted for years, for years. They've released multiple iterations of this sneaker and I've just never ended up picking one up. I'm not really sure why. As I said, I've wanted these for a long time and today I was like, you know what, let's over the, head over to the mall. They got a size restock so I figured I would go pick up my size. No hassle at all, easy pickup. They are the Flyknit 
racer in this multicolor colorway. Now this has lost basically all the hype. Multicolor Flanet, you put it on anything and it used to sell out instantly, except people just don't have that level of interest in it anymore. People all love the boost and they love priming it, not flying it. And this just sort of gets pushed by the wayside and forgotten about. And these will probably end up going on sale, which is great. Now, the reason I have a price point problem with this is that it's literally cloth, like it's it's flying it, whatever, it's, it's cloth. And then like a foam midsole and outsole. And the midsole doesn't really offer it's like excellent cushioning or anything like it's not boost so if these were 125 I feel that would be a way better price point and they would sell out quick but Nike knows what they're doing with the pricing I guess so what I like about these is just the crazy crazy color knit and the pattern and how it's different on every shoe every shoe is unique so you look at this this says lots of purple and blue up at the front this has lots of green up at the front the knit pattern as you move all around the shoe is completely different there's no two pairs that are unique because they just take from what I understand a whole bunch of random strands and just shove them all together on a pair of shoes so each pair ends up being completely unique which I love the traction pattern is mostly rubber which is good you get some Nike running shoes that have a foam outsole which wears down extremely quickly which I'm not a fan of I think that's sort of ripping off your customer at that point this has rubber which will last a lot longer and then you literally can I don't know if you can see but I can see the camera right now like I can see that's the lens there's the view screen there I can see through the shoe that's how thin it is and breathability is excellent on this so the good thing is your foot's not gonna sweat in summer the bad thing is I can't wear these for seven months of the year because I would literally freeze my foot off wearing these why did this one get paper and this one doesn't have paper that pisses me off they've released some awesome colorways of the flying eraser that just quite frankly haven't sold out for whatever reason whether it be the blackouts which I thought were amazing the whiteouts or the goddess with that black outsole and the rest was all white and cream I thought those were beautiful those are like the 1.0 triple white ultra boost those things looked amazing but people just didn't want to pick them up for whatever reason they sat on shelves I have a pair of lunar flying at multicolors and then I have these as well I think two multicolor Flyknit racing shoes is probably enough in my collection, uh, or running shoes, not racing shoes, because realistically you don't need more than that. I have 260 pairs of shoes in my collection, I'm trying to whittle it down, but buying shoes three times a week is definitely not going to help with that. What do you guys think of these though? Uh, I think they're a pretty solid pickup, nothing too crazy, these are a GR and tons of you guys get angry at me for buying GRs, which I don't understand. Someone said, dude, quit buying GRs and buy some nice sneakers, which is insinuating that the production number of a pair of, uh, of, a pair of sneakers directly correlates with the niceness of a pair of sneakers. It makes no sense in my mind, literally zero sense. Like that's like saying if the Pure Money 4 had 30 pairs produced, it would be fire. But since it has 300,000 pairs produced, it's not nice at all. It makes zero sense, the production numbers. As I've always said, don't care about what's limited, don't care about what's hyped, buy what you like. What am I getting? That's really all that matters. So if you like these, let me know down in the comment section by saying Flyknit Racers are dumb lit. If you don't like them, well, you're completely entitled to that as well. So we are back home, this is of course, my office studio room that I do all my editing and I film a lot of my unboxings and whatnot in here. I don't like the way it's set up. So here is what, this is the view you usually see and it's a white wall, there's a couch back there. And then on this side, this wall is green because I haven't gotten around to painting it yet. And you have a big, big TV right there. And that is where I edit my videos. I don't use that PC. I usually have my laptop sitting right here. And then there's a poster of the guys I coached this year and really nothing over there. I wanna completely change this up. Most of my sneakers are in my bedroom. What I wanna do is I wanna get rid of the TV and I wanna get rid of the couch. I wanna put those in my bedroom. I wanna bring the sneakers into here. My reasoning for this is that I just, there's unnecessary distractions here. Like I'm trying to work in here. I'm trying to make the best videos I can and spend as much time on that. I don't need a TV and an Xbox sitting here distracting me and I don't need a couch where I can just lounge out in here. I'd like to have my office chair, my laptop, and just have all my shoes back there. It makes a cooler looking background which is an added benefit as well. So we're gonna get this couch out of here, we're gonna get the TV out of here, we're gonna put that up in my room, plus I think that's just a better place to chill out and play some Xbox. Let's clean this up, we're gonna completely revamp this. I know it's sort of a stupid time to do it because I still need to paint this wall right here, and that wall, and that wall. I should probably paint it before I completely redecorate the room, but whatever. Whew. 
and just like that we are about I'd say 85% done setting up the room I, my TV is still over there and I need to probably go to Ikea and buy another small shelf or something like that I can't even fit all my shoes in this room which is really bad I'm keeping the angle really tight on me because it looks really cool you can't see what it looks like right now so if you guys want to see what it looks like just let me know and maybe I can put it in a future vlog or something like that but as always guys Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. I really love making these videos. It's it's amazing. I know some people love to be negative and say how my videos suck and my channel's going to die, but the people that do support me, I, you guys mean the world to me. So if you're still watching to this point of the video, comment, new sneaker setup is dumb lit. And for all you guys that hate dumb lit, you can just say, new sneaker setup looks cool. And I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. I appreciate all of the support. And until then, peace.